What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. Today is my fourth annual July 4th celebrating slash calling you guys out again about the July 4th. And hold on a minute because... It's, it is. It's going to get real. Because I'm calling out all you all you people talking about, you know, well, well more per, uh, specifically, I'm calling out all you crybabies again. All you crybabies calling about, oh, I hate America. America is not my home. And uh, I don't know why you celebrate July 4th when we were still slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm eating a, I'm eating a burger from McDonald's. I almost choked on it because I'm about to shit on you guys real hard. So uh, I hear this every year, and I saw this on Facebook. There's every 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 Fourth of July and the last month, the Black History Month. A lot of you Negroes get some heart and want to post up about Black History. And it's usually the ones that don't care about Black History. It's usually the ones that are stupid. It's usually the ones that don't know their own history but want to tell me my history. They only care about black history during like 4th of July and the last month of Black History Month. They always want to say, well, I don't know why you why black people celebrate the 4th of July. We were still slaves. Well, our real, just Juneteenth was our real cell independence. Let me explain something to you. You live in America. America got its independence in 19... 1776, uh, 1776, see, I'm, I'm confused well because I'm starting to laugh again. 1776, July 4th, was our independence. America. Now, the country you live in is in America. So, let me, let me ask you guys this. Again, it's another year. Again, I still see you in America. We're in Africa right now. And I don't want to hear these whack excuses of this or that. Or, or I heard one guy say, for it. You're the typical lazy ass black bastard that people are talking about that I'm talking about. You want people to do it for you. You want to know why? Because you, you, a lot of you guys just want to cry, get on the video, and cry because you got personal problems. I, I mean, I sit here and laugh at your videos, most of you guys, because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You want to talk about this, that, and the third. Well, I don't know why you celebrate the fourth. You want know to celebrate the fourth? Because I had family members that died swinging on the trees down south for my freedom. I had family members that died in wars. And at the end of the proverbial day, if I go to Africa, if I if, when I was across the pond, when I was in certain countries, guess what they called me? They didn't call me a black guy. They called me an American once I spoke. Like, if you go to England, they think you're from there until you speak. Like, if you go to other countries, they can clearly tell if you're an American. Cause go, look, at, look at Ethiopia. Most of them people look the same. Look at the Nigerians. Most of the Nigerians, you can, you can tell between a, a, an African and an American eyes and a Canadian and a North American, even a South American black. But that's the problem with you people. You people, another year, another year of bitching, another year of you staying comfortable. And that's all you guys want to do. You just want to bitch, 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 and bitch. You don't want to do nothing about it. Because if you did, you wouldn't be here already. You took, like I said, God is still offering you guys land, but you don't want to take it. Now I see a lot of you guys are smarting up. A lot of you guys have switched up saying, well, that's not what we want. We want separation from America. I explained this. Let me explain something to you dummies again. Now, I hate to call you dummies, but you're not bright. Whenever Texas was talking about succeed, succeeding from the Union, succession, the government came to us and tried to want to. Now, these are, these are Texans that had money and guns. And the government was like, go ahead. And, what are you going to do to a couple of black guys that don't like America, that don't know what they're doing, that still live with their grandmothers and shit? Come on, man. You can't make, you can't make this up. It's, this, is how, this is how stupid you guys sound. That's why I sound, a lot of you guys are like parrots. You don't, you don't parrot what the DNC says. You parrot what the next stupid motherfucker says. Because, like, you got guys talking about, well, and like, like I tell you, look. If I didn't like someone, like, I'm, I moved, this, this, I live in Columbus, Ohio right now. This is the th third time I moved. I didn't like, I didn't like where I was at, so I moved. If you don't like where you're at right now in life, what you do is you shut up, you, you bide your time, 
you can stack up your money, and you get going. In Africa, you can you can go on the internet and buy property. You can go buy property anywhere in the world on the internet. Trust me, you can do that. I have I have seen it done. But you know what? A lot of you guys just want to sit at home. You just want, you don't want to do anything. You just want to bitch, moan, and cry. And that's why I'm shitting on you guys today because you deserve it. Because like I said, every video, I hate America. Well, you're still here. Look, I would I would even give you guys half an attempt if you moved to Canada. But you know what? I shouldn't give you an attempt because Canada is a majority of a, a, a white majority country. So look, why don't you go to Jamaica? Go to Haiti. Go to the Dominican Republic. Do something besides talking about it. Like, a lot of you guys have been talking about this for the last, what, 10, 20, 30 years? You should know amount, I amassed a lot of money by then. And if you didn't, well, you, like I said, you're stupid. And a lot of you people want to fall in the trap of listening to these people. You get what you deserve listening to some of these folks. So, because here's how stupid a lot of you are. If so and so jumped off the bridge, and so it was their black liberation, or black freedom, or black struggle, black power, whatever. I, I bet you a lot of you dummies would do it because so-and-so did it. But in that, that lies the problem. A lot of you guys don't have a lot of, you don't have, you don't have like a lot of intelligence. You can't comprehend anything. You don't know what rhetorical means. There's a, and a lot of you guys want to lead and tell me about, about I was still a slave during the, during the independence. I know that. Let me tell you guys something. There are Jews that live in Germany, Poland, France, most of the countries that were occupied by Nazis. And let me get let me tell you something else also. There are Jewish people who still live live in America who, by the way, were turned around by Teddy. Not which one? Which one? I forget what president it was. It was during World War II. Before that, when the Jews came here in a boat from London, from England, the president I don't know was it Wilson? I think it was Wilson. I'm not sure. He turned around because we were isol we were isolationists. He turned that around and refused the Jews. I, 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 look, I forget. I think it was Wilson, Woodrow Wilson. I'm not sure, but it was one one of those presidents turned around the Jews and told them to go back to where they were. But now look at Jews. You think the Jews aren't celebrating July 4th? <laughs> you think the Jews aren't in Germany celebrating when the wall fell down? You think they ain't celebrating when France got liberated? You guys, you guys sound so stupid. The problem is a lot of you guys. Don't know what to do. Now, let me, let me, let's, let's be real about the situation. A lot of you have really fucked up your lives to the point that no matter what you do, it's like walking in dog shit permanent. It's like it's like you're permanently walking in dog shit. It's like you turn to the left, you're walking in dog shit. You turn to the left, you're walking in dog shit. And that's how your lives have turned out. Now you want to be better because you messed up your own life, have no solutions for your life, but you want to give me advice. And, and most of you guys are living with your mom or daddy, your, one of your sisters or brothers, and, you know, act like a bunch of drunks to tell me, like, we need to liberate yourself. Get, get out of here. Seriously. Look, if I, if, if I wanted to, the country I'd move to, if I was in, if I was going to go to Africa, it would be probably Nigeria, because that's, that's just an orange country. I could, I could do wonders down in there. Trust me, I could do wonders. But I'd, I'd probably move to Canada or probably Australia. Or maybe New Zealand, because there's, there's lots of jobs down in New Zealand. I go where the money is. You guys go where, you guys stay where you're at. And that's why a lot of you guys, look, 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 look at the name right there. You know, niggas ain't shit talking that crap. You need talking about, well, well, this is Juneteenth. That's our real celebration. Look, man, you're in America whether you like it or not. If you don't like it, why don't you go take a, a jet blue somewhere? Why don't you take a $99, $99 discount ticket, like I said, the Lagos. Why don't you go to the, the Newark um, terminal where they, ship, where they ship out stuff on a daily basis, hide in one of those trucks with the stolen cars, and go to Lagos. Go to Ghana. I mean, they're, they're, not, they're still offering you guys land. Mugabe is offering you guys land. You're not taking it. So what's that tell me? That tell me you're full of shit. You know what you're talking about. Because if you were really about what you're talking about, your black asses would be the first ones over in Africa, and they'd be telling me how great Africa is. But you know what? You're sitting in your mom and dad's bedroom at age 50, 40, 50, 60, talking about we need to do something. You know what? <laughs> Look, and here's another thing you need to know. Don't follow a person who's still with their mom and dad at 50, 40, 60, telling you you need to do something where they can't do anything at all with their life. All right, man. I'm, I'm done with this. this so, I'm about to choke on this burger, man. All right. I'm out of here, man. I'm out. Peace.